An N-gauge layout depicting a junction on the southwest main line where quadruple tracks split into two double tracks. The layout was described in the September 2016 edition of Railway Modeler. Chris Morris, the builder of the model, was inspired to build a new layout when he purchased a limited edition Dapol Western Enterprise in Desert Sand Livery. If you're new to this channel, become a subscriber and don't forget, click the bell icon to be notified of new videos. Chris chose to model Alla Junction about a mile west of Newton Abbott Station, where the Torbay Line splits from the Paddington to Plymouth and Cornwall Main Line. The first challenge was to create a representation of the junction using commercial track. This could be achieved using Pico points, but meant a compromise would be necessary to the scale of the rest of the junction. Important items such as the freight loop to the west of the junction would have to be omitted. The layout is a caricature of the location and is called Little Alla Junction. There are eight routes through the junction, so there are eight storage roads, one for each route. All the storage roads feed into the four track main line on the right hand end of the layout. The second challenge was to get trains back to the storage siding they came from once they had been through the junction. This was achieved by making one of the double tracks pass over the other and then threading them back together. Chris wanted to give the impression of a railway built through the rolling hills of South Devon. So open baseboards were built with a plywood base just wide enough for the track on the scenic side. The upper track has to be raised high enough to let the lower tracks pass underneath. The next challenge was to avoid excessive inclines in less than four feet of length. This was achieved by setting the four track section at a middle height at the junction. The double track to Tor Bay falls away at the same rate as the Plymouth double track rises. The required height difference was achieved in half the length that would have been needed on a flat baseboard. A Dutch software program called AnyRail was used to plot the gradients to a maximum of 1.9 degrees. Incidentally, I use AnyRail to draw my video track plans and can thoroughly recommend it. A simple control panel was built so that pushing one button for each track in the storage yard changes all the points in one go for the route. A couple of rewires were necessary before everything worked correctly. The back scene was created from photographs taken behind the real Alla Junction. The hills were created from wire mesh covered with mod rock, then filler and then paint. Trees are by Woodland Scenics. Stock is a mixture of Graham Farish and Dapol with Pico wagon kits. Three storage yards are split into two, allowing 11 trains to be stored. Up to four trains can be run at once, which is unrealistic, but is quite interesting to watch. My thanks to Chris for the information. To view some of my other content, click on a playlist. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you there.